What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip 20, and I'm back. Check us out. I haven't been putting on much content recently. YouTube's been on the uh, adpocalypse. Pretty much attacked every video I've put up. All the videos I put up in the Philippines was demonetized, and then they removed it after I got what few views I got from it. But let's just forget about that. I want to talk about these batteries again. Now, these specific batteries are potassium hydroxide batteries. That's the main ingredient inside of there. It's also got the plates are made from nickel and cadmium, and they're pocket plates, so the materials inside the pockets. And I took a few apart and I've put them back together. I got a couple of them working. A couple of them didn't work. There was a lot of problems either way with it. But I'm just saying that with this situation, it's a pretty good battery system. These batteries I have run flat every day until the inverter turns off, and that is well below what you would ever consider with uh, lead acid. Like for instance, I get about seven to 10 kilowatts of energy storage in here a day, depending on how much power and sunlight I get. I'm behind on sunlight because I started mining and using the computers as a heat source for my house. And you know, it gets cold at, at night, so I gotta keep it warm. But we can just say that I refilled these batteries and now they're really kicking some butt. I got back from the Philippines, it was a little bit low, so I went ahead and refilled them. It's almost like these batteries are pretty much bulletproof. How bulletproof are they? Well, I've run them flat and I ran them low on electrolyte and they just they're just so strong right now. It's kind of unbelievable how strong they are. Uh, currently, my battery system is not up and running, so what I'm going to do is turn it on. So I got this wired in to the inverter. The inverter turns on. I flip a switch. Now, my entire house is running on sunlight except for a couple of circuits. One is the heat, one is the stove. That's 240 volts, and I won't be able to operate the solar array with the heat and the stove. Now I mentioned I can't run the heat. I also added a circuit that's 240 volts to a computer. Now why would you do that since you can just plug it into the 110? Well these computers pull about 1700 to 1800 watts whenever you're plugging them into the receptacle. So since that is the situation, well you know I've got to hook up something to reduce the amperage through the wall. So I just ran an extension cord directly to it and there's no problem. The heat that I was having when I plugged it in was completely gone. Considering when you have a lot of amps you got a lot of heat and that increases the load. But if you remove the amps by doubling the voltage it, it, it you sustain the same amount of power consumption with less amps and you can do it with smaller wire so it makes it safer so just aside from that you know it's running great I'm really excited that it's running great and the reason why this system is doing so well is definitely because of these 40 year old batteries these nickel cadmium batteries are the best thing that I ever purchased and it was the cheapest part of the solar array. I've got travel time and all. I went and picked up these batteries. It was ten dollars each. Plus I got a hotel. Plus I got. I took my kids and my wife. We uh, enjoyed the night while I was there before, and then we went and picked up the batteries and came back home. It was a six-hour drive one way, so twelve-hour travel time plus a hotel, and we got to go out and have some nice dinners at one of the local restaurants so I enjoyed it it was in Alabama and I loved it and I'd love to go back now I traded 
Yankee Four for these golf these batteries right here. Four four golf cart batteries. Uh, the top from there through there, and then these top ones right here are really pretty much junk. They don't work at all. Some of them I've taken apart and tried to rebuild. Uh, you can see that I've took this one apart and then I reglued it. It don't work. It just nothing I can do about it. But in general, some of them that I took apart works really good. But just saying, if you was going to go out, pick up a set of these batteries, these batteries are pretty awesome. There's also one drawback. They use a lot of water. Every three months or so, I have to put about 25 gallons of distilled water into these batteries. So they vapor out. Um, also, they vapor out hydrogen. Now, I've got an explosive gas detector inside my garage. Being that I'm venting hydrogen, I'm putting a concrete pad out back. Once a concrete pad is complete, I'm going to put solar panels on top of it and a wall of lattice around it. So it would be vented all the way around and I'll be able to put the, comp the batteries on there because it weighs roughly as much as a car does. So I've got to put footers around it so I can put the walls up and everything. I'm fixing to get started on that project uh, pretty much within the next week or so. I'm going to probably do it myself. Then I'm going to pour the concrete, have a concrete truck come in. We'll send a chute over there and we'll just fill it plumb full. But these batteries are the best batteries I would recommend to start out with if you can't afford lithium. If you can't find these batteries, lead acid is a good choice. But don't get too small of a bank. For what these do, you need 30 lead acid batteries that are golf cart T105 Trojan batteries. Or if you run them, the you know T105s beyond their limit point, it'll run them flat until you know you don't have a battery bank anymore. Because lead acid batteries don't like to go low, so you can pull about 80% out of a lead acid battery bank. I was pulling 70 or so uh, daily, and you know I decided that. Picking up a set of batteries that you can run to nothing, and in fact, some of these batteries actually re reverse polarity, and they just come right back. They don't have a trouble going. They just such a great battery. I'm just going to go ahead and let it go from here, telling you guys about my type of batteries. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. This is Phil Twenty with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Thanks. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, share me with your favorite social media. And if you'd like to check me out on Steam It, there's a new website called Steam It. It's a cryptocurrency website that's pretty much great. They are so, so good about giving other people a boost for whatever it is. It's great. So just go out, click on the link in the description below, and enjoy. Peace out.